Hi, my name is Dave and I'm Gyrations Senior Product Manager and today I'm here to tell you about why I love to use my Air Mass Elite uh, with my PC connected TV. Uh, so uh, here you see our, uh, my living room. Actually it, uh, it really is my living room. I live at the office. Uh, this is my flat screen TV. Uh, here is my PC that's connected to my flat screen. Uh, here's my couch that I love to sit in while I watch my web-based entertainment on the flat screen. Uh, we have uh, the Air Mass Elite, uh, the little dongle that uh, is the wireless connection between the Air Mass Elite uh, and the compact keyboard that I'm going to use to surf the web. Uh, and this is our setup. Uh, so what we're going to show you is a little bit of uh, a little bit about how to configure uh, Motion Tools. That's the software that comes with the Air Mass Elite. Uh, how to configure Motion Tools to uh, make the most out of your web-based entertainment on your TV. Uh, and I'm going to show you how, uh, how the features are used here in the living room. Alright, so here I am kicking back on the couch about to enjoy some web-based entertainment with my Air Mouse Elite. Uh, so let's take a look at Hulu for example. Oh, actually one thing before we actually take a look at Hulu, I want to uh, show you another feature of Motion Tools that easily allows you to see at any moment uh, what your current settings are. Uh, in the middle of the Air Mass Elite, uh, in the middle of these three media buttons, there's a big round silver button. Uh, that's the gesture button. We'll show you how to use that gesture button in a little bit. Uh, but if you push and hold the gesture button for about three seconds or five seconds, uh, you see on the right side of your screen, uh, you see a, what's basically a cheat sheet for motion tools. It uh, shows you what your uh, current uh, media button settings are uh, and your current uh, gesture or swipe settings. Uh, and these will be the settings for uh, the web browser since that's our current application context. Okay, now back to Hulu uh, and enjoying some web based entertainment. I can go to uh, full screen mode. If I go around and give myself fun old timey baseball nicknames, I'll be pinch hit Pete. And there you have it. I'm watching web based entertainment on my TV, uh, sitting across the room, controlling my computer as if it were uh, as if it were just a television. Uh, for me, there is no distinction anymore between uh, my computer and my TV. I enjoy uh, web based entertainment on my TV just as if I was watching um, you know video from my cable provider. Uh, but it's going direct from my broadband connection to my PC and onto my flat screen. Uh, and the Air Mass Elite kind of makes it all happen in a way which is uh, both fun and easy to use. Okay, so we now finished buffering Bottle Shock from Netflix. And uh, I'm just going to hit the play button here. Uh, once the movie starts playing, we can then again go to full screen mode. And uh, I'm going to shrink the size of the magnifier a little bit. Let's go back to full screen again. And uh, now I'd like to demo for you uh, Air Volume, which we talked about a little bit earlier. It allows me to have uh, very easy control over uh, the volume at which the movie is playing. I believe it was the center media button, but we can just uh, check on that by holding down the gesture button for three seconds and we see our cheat sheet here. Uh, and indeed it is the, uh, uh, the center media button for Air Volume. So I'm just going to push the center media button. And you can see the volume bar on the right side. Uh, which I can control uh, by just waving my hand up and down with the air mouse. And I'll let you listen to the volume change. You can just uh, left click uh, for a quick mute uh, in case uh, you get a phone call or something. And again, send a media button, sends it away. Uh, and that's, uh, that's it. It's that simple and it's, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to get out of the uh, full screen mode now again. And I want to show you just a couple of other gestures uh, that I've configured. Uh, holding the gesture button down and doing a left swipe, as you might remember, takes us back a page. So let's do that now. You'll see the little circle in the center of your screen indicating that the gesture recognition is active. And we go left swipe, and boom, we get taken back a screen. And now we can be surfing uh, for a new movie. Maybe we didn't like Bottle Shock. Um, if we decide that we did like it, then right swipe takes us back to that page. Now let's take a look at the media player. Uh, so now hopefully you can see in the magnifier um, the different songs that are uh, queued up here in my media player. Uh, this happens to be an uh, ACDC album. So left media button is play, uh, center button is air volume again, right media button is uh, stop, uh, left swipe is back a song, right swipe is forward a song, 
Uh, so let's see if we can exercise some of those features for you and enjoy some good uh, ACDC music. Uh, I'm just going to double click on it, on the song, as you normally would. Here we are enjoying some music now. Center media button is air volume. We're working as expected. Very nice. Let's get out of that. Now we'll do a skip forward a song using a right swipe. So very easy to cycle through your songs, uh, just with simple hand gestures. Uh, I, I love this feature. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. That is um, kind of web-based entertainment on your flat screen, uh, class 101.